Good evening. Um, having perhaps gotten uh, most or all of the technical difficulties out of the way, uh, I want to hasten to say that uh, I'm doing my first test vlog, and I'm hoping that it'll get uploaded and it'll be a regular thing. Um, in addition to whatever kind of logging I want to do during the course of the week, uh, not necessarily every day because you have to be, I don't know, <laughs> you have to ha have a lot to say to do one every day, and I don't. But, um, yeah, uh, do a couple during the course of the week, go around Gold Beach, show things, hang out at the cemetery. That'll be fun, won't it? Um, but in addition to all of that crap, uh, I thought it would be fun to do this, and that's how I'm starting here, is uh, I thought it would be great to do like a, a Friday night vlog, uh, because to me, Friday nights or Saturday nights have always been, you know, ever since I was a kid, um, big for horror movies, because typically that's when the sort of regional television stations would, uh, would show them, uh, sort of later at night, and, you know, we kids would be begging our parents to, you know, please, please, please let us stay up, we promise we won't pee the bed, <laughs> we won't be too scared. <laughs> Uh, we won't come running in and, you know, beg to sleep with mommy and daddy. All of those promises, of course, were always broken. But, you know, uh, that's, that's just the way that it goes. But at the end of it all, uh, you know, we would get to see these uh, horror films, uh, typically hosted by some, uh, you know, local horror host. Uh, and uh, they were great, great fun. And the horror host was cool because they gave you somebody to watch it with, you know, and, and also to, to somebody to kind of take the edge off of it a little bit, if you were a kid, you know. I mean, some of these movies that I watched when I was a kid, I, I actually do own, uh, largely out of a sense of nostalgia, um, you know, but I'll look at them now and I'll go, oh my gosh, I mean, that had me quaking in my boots. I, I can hardly believe it. With the exception, one exception, one movie I still don't watch in the dark all by myself at 54 years old that scared the crap out of me when I was five years old. And that's an old film which uh, I didn't prep, so I... I didn't bring it over to show you. Wait a minute, Steve. I mean, the other Steve. Through the miracle of editing, here's that movie. It's It, the Terror from Beyond Space. And it, it's got a really scary monster on it. Boy, I wouldn't want to be carried away out of the kitchen. My, that guy, no way. That monster scared the holy whatever out of me and was the template for my nightmare monster when I was a kid. I used to call the kitchen monster. And I'd have these nightmares where I'd be walking just about to enter the kitchen. Uh, out would jump this monster from this movie. And you know, reach out to grab me, roar like a lion, all this stuff. Scared the hell out of me. Um, it was terrible for years and years. But, but you know, <laughs> I'm perfectly fine now. I'm perfectly normal human being. <laughs> you know? And I'm surrounded by all these horror movies. Well, all right, so here's the first Friday night uh, entry. Um what I'm going to be watching tonight. Um, first one is a uh, silent film uh, from the German Expressionist era, long before I was born. Uh, a little ditty entitled um, The Warning Shadows. And I like this movie a lot because it does a lot with very little. And basically, just, you know, I won't drone on and on about it, though it is rather obscure, probably. Um, it um, has to do with a party that's being given by a, you know, German noble, and uh, he's having all of these uh, guys over to the palace, and, uh, you know, his, his 
lovely wife is entertaining them all. And they have a, a sort of a, um, oh, some fellow from the carnival or something. <laughs> yeah, they, he had to invite a carny to this party, you know. And uh, he does all these amazing, wonderful things, uh, manipulating shadows. Uh, and through his efforts during the course of the evening, he sort of wrongly um, gives the impression that the, the nobleman's wife is having an affair with one of the guests and causes the nobleman to commit this crime of passion. And oh, it's horrible, terrible, terrible outcome. Oh my gosh. But it's very uh, stylishly done. After that, I'm a big Boris Karloff fan. And uh, one of his best, he did a lot of really great movies and a lot of just sort of pretty okay movies. Um, but one of my favorites is on this double featured disc with um, I Walked with a Zombie. And this pops up from time to time on Turner Classic Movies if you've got that on your cable package. Um, you know, specifically during Halloween. And it's a great, great movie. Sell the bodies to the doctors together. To dig them up, there'll be no digging. The kirkyards are too well guarded. We will, so to speak, burk them. So, the body snatcher is very cool based upon. Uh, a story by Robert Louis Stevenson um, concerning the aftermath of the whole Burke and Hare affair where, um, you know, grave robbers were raiding cemeteries to um, provide uh, doctors with cadavers to further their medical research and such. But, of course, with Boris Karloff in it, it's, it's going to be creepy. <laughs> going to be spooky and all that good stuff and uh, it's actually a very very good acting role for for Karloff uh, who was relieved to have something uh, of a this really more of a, an historical based drama than a horror film but it has horrific overtones uh, and all right so as for the remainder of the uh, session this evening I uh, just thought I'd treat myself to a favorite from the 1980s, if that can be seen with my haphazard lighting here, um, called The Resurrected, directed by Dan O'Bannon, who, um, well, let's see, he had an acting role in a, um, I think John, Carp John Carpenter's first film was a um, student film called Dark Star, which is a sort of a science fiction comedy, or I should probably say science fiction parody. Um, and he went on to uh, write the screenplay for Ridley Scott's Alien. But here he directs a, a, a story uh, contemporized, uh, because it's always more cost efficient to produce a film in whatever the time the film is being produced in. Um, but it's it's based upon H.P. Lovecraft's uh, The Strange Case of Charles Dexter Ward. And it's very spooky and creepy and has some, some kind of uh, very scary effects towards the end. I remember uh, when my son John was very young, uh, we would catch it on cable and uh, it would always creep us out. You know, uh, we'd always do it late at night and, uh, you know, which heightens the effect. And speaking of effects, I mean, uh, this is the perfect night for such movie fare because, uh, it's a, <laughs> it's a dark and stormy night. <laughs> so that's the way it is here in Gold Beach. So, um, well, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I hope, uh, everybody has a 
great Friday night and a great weekend, and I uh, hope to see you all next week here on uh, the Gothling Vlog. Mm -hmm.